Let us discuss this example. In this example, they have given matrix space R to D, where D is a Euclidean distance. They have given two sets A and B, which are connected subsets of R2 and their intersection is not equal to 5. So then we have to conclude about A union B and A intersection B. So these two sets are connected or disconnected. Okay, this thing we have to write. Let us discuss. So one result we have already seen. Let us recall it and then we will go further. That result is if you have two connected sets A and B and if the intersection is not equal to 5, then their union is also connected. So the same information we have. A and B are connected sets, intersection not equal to 5. So 101% their union will be connected. So no need to worry about it. Okay, it is connected. See, it is not it is connected not only in R2D, if you consider any matrix space, then also it will be connected. So see, let us think about A intersection B. It will be connected or not. Okay, so it is it need not be connected. I will give you one example. Consider a set A, okay, which is subset of R2. XY belongs to R2 such that X square is equal to Y. I will draw the diagram so you can easily understand. So x square is equal to y. This is the equation of parabola symmetric about y axis and opens in upward direction. That means the uh, graph of that parabola will be like this. So consider a set B which is defined as xy belongs to R2 such that x square is equal to minus y plus 2. Okay, so this is equation of parabola again. It is symmetric about y axis again since power of y is 1. But that y has a minus sign. That's why the parabola opens in downward direction. So parabola will be like this, which intersects y axis at point 0, 2. Okay. So these two parabolas intersect each other at point here 1, 1 and here minus 1, 1. Okay. So see these two parabolas are 101% connected sets. First parabola is connected and second parabola is also connected. But if you talk about their intersection, A intersection B. So A intersection B, in intersection, only two points come. The first one is minus 1, 1 and the second point is 1, 1. Okay. So these two sets are connected, but their intersection is not connected. Since we have two distinct points, so you can easily express them as a union of two disjoint non-empty closed sets. So that's why we will say A intersection B, B is not connected in this example, but in some cases it can be connected. So I will mention A intersection B need not be connected, need not be connected. So this is our conclusion. Okay. So you can make a screenshot of it and then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.